so what are we discussing We're today? talking about that back there, Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower? Yeah. That well, looks like the Eiffel Tower to me. It sure does. Well, it's funny you should mention that. It was modeled off the Eiffel Tower hmm. back in the 50s. It was built in 1957, finished in 58. Uh, and, and can you guess what its original purpose was? Why do they need a big tower in the middle of Tokyo? Uh, radio? Close television. Television, even that is, better. Yeah, <laughs> that is a TV broadcast tower. That is one huge tower. Well, they were having this problem because people were building all these little towers all throughout Tokyo to broadcast uh, uh, TV signals. And so they said, let's consolidate it all into one big tower that will broadcast everything. So that is bristling Death Star-like with wow. antennae and satellite <laughs> dishes and all sorts of stuff to uh, send out stuff. And you can actually see, if you look at a, an image and kind of zoom in, you'll see little uh, antennae and stuff on it. I can see a bunch of microwave dishes on yep. it. and absolutely. It, it seems to trump everything on the skyline there. <laughs> when it was built, it was the tallest freestanding tower in the world. In the world? Yes, uh, 333 meters tall, which wow. is pretty darn tall. There are two observatories on it. Uh, and, uh, and so it, that, those are really its two main uh, functions, is TV, uh, terrestrial broadcast, and then tourism. So folks come in, they get about, uh, I think it's about 3 million visitors a year now uh, come in and uh, go up there and, and watch up Tokyo Tower. It is definitely an icon. Sure is, and yeah. I see that, I think Tokyo. <laughs> 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 you certainly see it in anime a lot. I mean, it's, uh, it's like the Eiffel Tower in that if you want to show that you're in Paris, you show the Eiffel Tower. If you want to show you're in Tokyo, you see Tokyo Tower. Very distinctive with the red and white. Exactly. Uh, and that is the international, uh, it's actually an, an orange red that is a, an international um, uh, color for um, uh, any sort of large structure to indicate that it's, uh, uh, it should be avoided by planes, basically. Has, has this structure ever been truly damaged or uh, is it, it actually, only in anime? <laughs> <laughs> in anime and Godzilla movies Godzilla. all the time. Uh, well actually in the Great Tohoku earthquake um, the, the, the tip was bent. You can actually see images where it bent over as a result of that. Oh my goodness. Yeah that's how powerful it was. Um, that's the only significant uh, damage that I know of that it's actually had. That must have been a marvel of, of engineering feat to fix that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they've, they've talked about, so this is the other uh, unfortunate thing about Tokyo Tower is that it's not tall enough for digital broadcast. Um, oh. Yeah, so uh. th they've, uh, they've talked about extending it and make it, making it taller, hmm. but that would be very expensive, about $50 million wow. to, uh, to, to make it taller. $50 million, ah, oh, that's radio dollars. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they haven't been able to, to put that uh, together just yet. So there's a, a new tower called Tokyo Skytree, which is even taller than that. Sky and tree. that's Tokyo used for, uh, yeah, and that's used for um, uh, uh, all the digital uh, broadcasting. Wow. So right now there, there's no, and, and all of uh, Japan's stuff should have gone over to digital, I think, 2012. Hmm. So uh, right now, as far as I know, there are no signals going off of Tokyo Tower as a, uh, a broadcast Thing, but I'm I'm not sure. I mean, they're, maybe they're, still radio. Or yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sure there are. Repeaters, there, but yeah, not, not for the public. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and and there may be like some some backup signals that are going out, some things along those lines. But uh, they're still trying to figure out exactly what to to do with Tokyo Tower. Did all the broadcasters share? the Tokyo Tower, or yeah. did one company own it? So uh, one company owned it, it was not a broadcaster, and then they basically leased space on Tokyo Tower to all the different broadcasters. They were really smart to build that. They absolutely were, and it was obviously a huge construction project back Ooh. in the day. Uh, they had about 500 workers on it working at any given time. Um, wow, an army of people. Absolutely, uh, and you, you say army, uh, about a third of the steel that went into that was uh, old tanks from World War II. Ah, it's got scrapped good down. repurposing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so they, uh, they built it over the course of about a year. Uh, again, b a huge project. And also, this was in the uh, mid-50s, so Japan was in the middle of its, actually the start of its big resurgence. Oh, the boom. Yeah, so this is a, a great symbol of how things were going. And uh, now oh, you have beautiful. that. Absolutely. Uh, and they, they now light it differently on different days for different events. So oh, for uh, wow. different uh, things where they're trying to get raise public awareness, they'll light it in different colors and different parts of it. So if somebody takes a photo, you can say, I can tell when that was. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they can even do things where they'll put uh, hearts on it and things along those lines and lights. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a big distinctive part of Tokyo, and there's nothing else that looks anything like it on the Tokyo st skyline. Now, with the Eiffel Tower, initially there was an outcry against this monstrosity. Was there any... <laughs> Uh, uh, controversy when this was being built about it 
to some extent. Um, it, it was certainly a different style of building, and also being a, a, a foreign style of building, that, that uh, had some, some controversy to it. Um, but it was also modern. Mm. So there was a lot of public support behind it as well to say this is showing that we're a, a modern uh, uh, culture. And it certainly had to be designed. It was not a mm. copy of the Eiffel Tower. No. Uh, so there was uh, uh, a lot of uh, pride in being able to build something that was the tallest tower in the world for, for quite a while. So yeah, that's Tokyo Tower. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing accomplishment. Um, you can go there. You can actually, you might be able to see, let me go back to the other image. Uh, there is a four-story, that's a four-story building at the base of, of Tokyo Tower there. Uh, so that's an idea of how big it is. Uh, and there's a, a little mall in there, museums, and all sorts of stuff you can go to. So it's a, it can be a, a full day trip. Next time I visit Tokyo, I've got, I've got to stop there. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's a fun thing. And you can go to either the, the uh, 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 mid-level observatory there or all the way up to the top and see, see Tokyo from uh, quite a ways up. I'd hate to have to be the guy who paints the top of it. Exactly. It takes a year to, to paint Tokyo Tower. But every five years after we paint it. So yeah, that's Tokyo Tower. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. You're very welcome. <laughs>